Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. First off, I'd just like to say I'm sorry for not making a lot of videos lately. Um, this thing called real life actually happened to me. I know it's hard to believe, but it, it happened. So I haven't really, and school started up too, so I haven't really been at the computer much. I know, isn't that weird? Um, but but I am here today, and I want to talk about this this new this new program uh, that Google released. It's for Mac only, unfortunately for you guys who are on Windows, not much used to. But you still should watch the video because maybe they'll come out with a Windows one. Who knows? You know, you guys got Chrome first. What, what more could you want? So anyway, this application is called Google Quick Search Box. It's it's basically called Quick Search Box, but made by Google. And for those of you who have a Mac, you've probably heard of this application called. Quicksilver, I know a lot of people who use Quicksilver. In fact, Coheed from uh, David in my in the chat room. Coheed's his name in the chat room. His name's David. Um, he writes over Geekologist.net. Um, he he introduced me to Quicksilver a while back, and I fell in love with it mainly because Quicksilver is an easy and fast way to access uh, files, applications, uh, and it learns as you type more into it. It learns what applications you use most often, so it'll pull them up first, and so on and so forth. But today, Google released Quick Search Box. And I downloaded I tried it out. I'm, I've been messing with it for a while now. And it blows Quicksilver out of the water. I I never thought this would happen. Quicksilver is nice, and it, and it works. And, and by no means is Quick uh, is Google's Quick Search Box anywhere done. It's still an experimental. It's a beta. They just released it, and they're still working out the bugs, and... As they say on the website, it's not full featured yet, so don't expect it to work perfectly. But it is really, really good. Um, just like Quicksilver, it'll learn as you type into it. So the more you launch applications using it, the more it'll the, the, the it'll be faster to access. First of all, and second of all, it will put it more towards the top, so that way it's easier to um, you know choose. So for example, I'm going to show you how it works in just a couple minutes. But basically, what it does is you can do any of the Google functionality, like weather, calculations, definitions, and so on, search the web using Google, but additionally, it searches your computer, any files or applications, just like Quicksilver does. And on top of that, you can search, you can uh, launch websites and, uh, like I said, applications, you could search through your iTunes library, you can do like almost anything, really. And you can then search YouTube if you want, Google products, Google news, Google images, all that through this one little application, quick search box. It is so cool. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So I'm going to pull over my desktop really fast, and I'm going to show you how it works in action. Now, I keep in mind I've only been using it for uh, a little while now, um, so the, the the relevancy is not fully there yet, but it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. So let me show you. I'm going to pull over the desktop. Let me know. I'm going to see when that is. Oh, by the way, that's uh, that that lady right there. That's uh, the 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 cover, the cover art for Enema of the State, which Blink One Blink One Eighty Two is uh, that was their album in nineteen ninety nine, and now they're back as of yesterday officially on the Grammys. If you watch that, so you can ignore the nice lady right there, and um, I'm gonna show you this desktop, this quick search box. So right in here, I'm gonna scroll in actually, so you guys can see this. Right here, you can see that. Actually, let me minimize this really fast. Sorry guys. All right, right here, and I gotta pull it back up again. Uh, doo -doo -doo, there it is. Okay, so right here you can see that Google search box is right here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pull back just a little bit, and now I'm gonna type in a word. Let's say I type in ADM, which is an IM client. ADI, there it goes. Now if I just type in AD, as it as it learns, address book comes first, right? But if as it as I as I launch ADM more and more often using Google Quick Search Box, it'll pull it towards the top so it's easier to access. But as you can also see, you have Adobe Air application installer uh, and uh, other Adobe products right here. So that's really cool. And let's say I wanted to search YouTube, right? So you can go over here, or and you could, it has a shortcut of uh, Command 5, but if you just wanted to click it, you can do that. And additionally, it'll also search Google Docs. It'll even use Spotlight. Um, as well, you can search through Spotlight. So let's say we searched, I don't know, what should we search on YouTube? Blink-182, let's just say. Right? Blink-182. And then it'll go to YouTube. Um, or it will go to YouTube. Uh, it worked earlier. 
Maybe we should try something else. All right, let's try something else. Uh, I don't know why this won't work. Oops. Well, as I said, it's still experimental, and when you try stuff live, it doesn't always work. Um, but anyway, as you can see, let's let's see what happens if you just search the web. That was that's just try Blink One Eighty Two. As you can see, it'll search the web, and I have some Blink One Eighty Two stuff here. My brother was texting me about. I am me about Blink-182 earlier. So as you can see, a lot of Blink stuff. Um, but basically, I like the fact you can search the news. Wikipedia is on here. And let's go through the preferences real quick. I'll show you. Now, what's really cool is you can add accounts. And whoa, 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 right there, Twitter. You can add your Twitter account to the Google Quick Search box, and you can search through Twitter. And I added my Gmail account, so I added my Google account as well. Um, so you can do all that. As you can see, you can search through the address book contacts. You can use calculator, Camino bookmarks, uh, desktop folders, Google Apps, um, iChat, iTunes Music, Picasa Web, Safari System, um, Volume, Weather, and Spotlight Results, which I mentioned before. So all this stuff, recent applications and documents, all this is here. You can, and you can you know basically choose what you want it to search and what you don't. Uh, you can I have it set to command uh, command. Uh, S, you can use whatever thing you want. You can have different appearances. You can have 10 results, 5 results, however many you like. I'm going to set it to 5 now. Uh, you can show it in the, I, in the dock, in the menu bar. Whatever you like, really, you can do um, for the most part as, you know, as with the application. So let me zoom back out, and I'm going to pull back to the webcam again. So anyway, this application is really, really neat. Um, I think it has a lot of potential I'm going to be using it um, frequently now for the next couple weeks to see how it adjusts and I'll, I'll probably post a follow-up blog post or an update to the blog post that I post and I'll put all the links and stuff for the download in the show notes and everything like that so you guys can check it out. Um, but it looks really, really cool uh, and I, I, I want to see how it develops and, the, and since it's in the experimental stage, I'll probably be posting updates to it frequently. Uh, and you can get those from the download link I'll provide in the show notes in the video description and also on the blog post Anyway, I want to know what you guys think of Google quick search box or quick silver if you use that Leave me a comment right here on the YouTube video or maybe even on the blog post You know you can check out my blog besttechie.net and uh, we're always we're streaming live.besttechie.net and we have the chat room too And of course we have the forums who could forget the forums free tech and computer support right there Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechie.net until then we'll see you and remember Remember, take care of your computers.